the genome of the Imanum. And according to the slave, it's going to be your mom like a man, those who already bought from somewhere. But can, for example, I learned if I bought the slave from, from uh, another uh, person, despite that I, I have ordered four wives. That's my question. You get what I mean? I think I got your questions. That if I already have four wives, then I bought a slave, a girl, and now am I allowed to marry her? The upper limit in the Quran is been given clearly. Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 3. Marry women of your choice, 2, 3, and 4, if you can do justice between them. If not, marry only one. The Prophet ﷺ has clearly mentioned, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 1885, that the new innovation things is called bidah, is innovation, and every bidah will lead to hellfire. It's nothing but a misleading. And the Prophet ﷺ also mentioned in Sahih Bukhari that what is the virtue of Islam? If you innovate something which is not prescribed in the religion, that is rejected. And whoever not follow my tradition is not among us. So this was not the practice of the Prophet Islam that you go beyond the limit. Allah has given him permission in the same Surah Hajar chapter 33 verse 50, 52 to have many more than four wives. But in no circumstances a believer should try to oversee the limit which has been given by Allah and his messenger. Unless Allah is going to give another revelation that now you are allowed to have more than four wives. No, under any circumstances, the Quran is clear. So, the, the, the deen is complete, clear. Allah knows what is best. If you have that, free her. Let her to be accessible or let her to enjoy another virtuous man. But it is encouraged to you to to bought her and to let her free if you have four wives if you not yet you are can, you can intend to marry if you have three but then in the long process if she is not agreeing then it is not permissible for you to marry so i think that that is what is clear if you have four wives if you bought a lady she is slave free her and you try to ask the bounties of allah because of the money that you will spend for her and allah says he will increase in your bounty in whatever he wish. I hope I try to answer the question. So I have a, a rather short one, but, but very a good one, I think. In paradise for the believers, men and women, uh, for in, in paradise for the believers, there will be women with lovely eyes waiting for them. But for the sisters, who is waiting for them in paradise? <laughs> uh, I hope the sister has asked the questions that we know that in various translations, in various contexts in the Quran, about speaking about the Hur, Huran, uh, the plural, uh, and it has been translated as a female. So, the verse of the Quran from Surah Dhukan, chapter 44, verse 54, Surah Tur, chapter 52, verse 20 to 22 and Surah Rahman chapter 55, Surah Waqiyah chapter 56 they are been given about these experts that in the paradise you will have who? the verse Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 25 to 29 and Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 57 is very clear the translation has been made by almost all the translator except very few that this Ajwajun Mutahirin means spouse for a male is a female for a female it's a male because the same question was asked to Hazrat Aisha the wife of the prophet peace be upon him Hazrat Aisha may Allah be pleased with her, her when she was asked this question that is mentioned in the Sayyid Bukhari in the book of Nikah uh, the hadith is there the Hazrat Aisha may Allah be pleased with her she clearly defined that for a woman she will receive the things which her high eyes never saw and which her heart never thinks and you cannot imagine the things of this world in the hereafter because they are pure the men have supposed to access the wife the spouse Allah the Almighty says in Surah Ambiya chapter 21 Surah Mu'minun chapter 23 the same spouse 
of this world. You can have the family of this world. I would love to have my wife to live even in paradise. Even my spouse would have loved to do that. Any spouse, if she is loyal, she is good to the husband, she, but not in the form that he or she sees in this world. And has to be clear, we will be transformed in a pure manner. And we will have the companions whom we like most. And the Allah the Almighty has clearly says, you will have to have a spouse or the companions of your other sides. Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 29, Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 47, Abdullah Yusuf Ali, uh, Sayyid International, there are various other translations that it means spouse. For a male it's a female, for a female it's a male. Not that a male has been given more. But I know there are in this context that many men have taken this privilege, look I will have many. Allah the Almighty have given the privilege if we like to have many, Allah knows the best. But as I said earlier, our desire will be fulfilled. Allah the Almighty says in the Quran that in the paradise your desire will be fulfilled by the spouse of the other side. And how they look like? Beautiful eyes and you, can, you cannot imagine what you see in this world. The most beautiful lady in this world is nothing compared to the lady in the hereafter. The most handsome man in this world is nothing compared to the handsome man in the hereafter. You will find your spouse to be a better looking. The, your heart that can imagine that. That is what it does it mean. It means a spouse. Male will get female, female will get male that, that they never imagine of. I hope that that is very closer to meaning because it's a very clear meaning. The translation of the meaning, as the speaker says, 100 years old translations, 50 years, recent years, no translation can carry the exact meaning of the translation. That's why we say the translation of the meaning. What does it mean by Rab? Cherisher, sustainer, evolver, lord of the worlds. It can be applied in one of them. So the English word is very exclusive. The word Ram, R-U-N, have got 90 meanings in the Oxford Dictionary, 90 meanings, R, U, N, run. In what aspect run can be applicable? Beating also has. The other meaning, spouses, companions, it also applicable. For the male it will be female, for the female it will be female. I hope that I answer the question. Let's take another question. You're, 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 I think I will take another question before you. You're, you're kind of a turbo Oscar. So. <laughs> there are other people who have been waiting here for a very long time to have their question answered. Uh, how is the amount of meher decided at the time of nikah and when should it be paid? Uh, the question posed, I assume to be a sister, that when the nikah is supposed to be paid and what is the amount? You see, Allah the Almighty, He is more wisdom in His knowledge. So He clearly says, Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 4, that give a marital gift to the, the person you are marrying, to the women, as a free gift. No boundary is mentioned there. Because the same chapter, Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 20, Allah the Almighty says, if you want to exchange your wife, then, and if you give them a quinter amount, quinter amount, this means a mountain's amount of gold. You know, gold price, it increases. So the Quran prefers to give the, the amount that is gold. And when it should be applicable, it should be during the time of marriage. And if one male, if he is not able, he can make an agreement. That is also permissible manner. Because the Quran, I, I, I don't see any questions about inheritance because I was... I was expecting some questions about inheritance. But the chapter 4, Surah Nisa, Allah the Almighty says that after paying the debts, if you promise to give someone and that is your debts or your loan, you borrowed money from someone, it is considered as a debt. So the marital gift, if the person is not able to give it during the time of marriage, it becomes obligatory for him to pay it in the manner as he has been described during the time of marriage contract. Maybe instrument, maybe at a time when he 